Our group topic for this week is protein and amino acid, immunoglobins and amino acid side chains. Question number 21 asks, immunoglobin, a protein that stimulates immune responses, will be classified as a blank protein. Option A, catalytic immunoglobins, also known as antibodies are made from the immune system of the body in response to infections that attacks the body. Thus, this protein is classified as protection protein. The reason that catalyte does not apply to immunoglobulins is because to catalyze means that a biochemical reaction is occurring within the cells, not the infections. Option B. A protection class of protein recognizes and destroys foreign substances. This answer is correct because an immunoglobulin is a protein that stimulates immune responses when there are foreign substances in the body, which makes it a perfect example of the protection class of protein. Option C. Immunoglobulin is a protein that stimulates immune responses which would be classified as a protection protein. The reason the answer cannot be a transport protein is because a transport protein are used for carrying essential substances throughout the body, such as hemoglobin, which transports oxygen, and also lipoproteins, which transport lipids throughout the body. Option D. Immunoglobulin is a protein that stimulates immune responses, which would be classified as a protection protein. The reason the answer is not a storage protein is because a storage protein are biological reserves of metal ions and amino acids used by organisms to store nutrients. Some examples are casein, which stores protein in milk, and another example is ferritin, which stores iron in the spleen and the liver. Option E, immunoglobulin is a protein that stimulates immune responses, which would be classified as a protection protein. The reason the answer is not structural protein is because a structural protein, the function is to provide structural components. For example, collagen is in tendons and cartilage. Also, keratin is in the hair, skin, and also in the nails. Question 22. The following amino acid side chain is A. Hydrophobic B. Hydrophilic C. Polar D. Acidic or E. Basic The amino acid side chain is A. Hydrophobic because the R group is an alkyl substituent. This means that it is an alkane which is missing one hydrogen. The answer choice B states that the following amino acid side chain is hydrophilic and that is not correct. Um, the hydrophilic molecules are those molecules that have the affinity to water and are usually charged or uh, have the polar side groups to their structure so that they will attract water. Uh, but if you take a look at this uh, particular side chain, um, which is known as valine, only has either a car carbon to carbon or carbon to hydrogen um, bondings and they do not have enough uh, electronegativity difference uh, to be called a polar uh, structure. So therefore, B is not the correct answer. Option C, polar. An amino acid is a molecular building block of proteins with a central carbon atom called the alpha carbon bonded to two functional groups an ammonium group and a carboxylate group. The alpha carbon is bonded to a hydrogen atom and R group or side chain as well. 
This answer is incorrect because a polar amino acid consists of a side chain that is an alcohol, a thiol, or a amide. And the displayed side chain has a hydrocarbon molecules. Option D. Acidic. An amino acid is a molecular building block of proteins with a central carbon atom called the alpha carbon bonded to two functional groups, an ammonium group and a carboxylate group. The alpha carbon is bonded to a hydrogen atom and a R group or side chain as well. This answer is incorrect because an acidic amino acid consists of a side chain that is a carboxylic acid that can take in a hydrogen atom but the displayed side chain consists of hydrocarbon molecules. The answer is not E, basic, because a basic amino acid consists of an R group that is amine, but the displayed side chain only consists of a hydrocarbon molecules and no amine group.